Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Tonight, a group is calling for a federal investigation after Governor DeSantis flew dozens of migrants to Martha's Vineyard. And the governor says he plans to relocate more migrants. That's a move that's drawing criticism and reminding others about a tactic made by Southern segregationists in the 60s. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio spoke with a civil rights historian about why. But here we are 60 years later. When civil rights historian Dr. Raymond Arsenal sees images like these, it makes him think about 1962. The law had changed and most of the buses and trains were desegregated, but there were a lot of white segregationists in the South who didn't like that. That year, Southern white segregationists lured African Americans onto buses. It took them to Cape Cod and areas north. They were promised jobs, housing, even a presidential welcome by JFK. None of it was true. They were just dumped, like human refuse, really. They were called the Reverse Freedom Rides, revenge for sending freedom riders to the South to fight segregation. And they wanted to embarrass people north of the Mason-Dixon line. Uh, and they wanted to embarrass President Kennedy. A social and political message at the expense of humiliating black families. We will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. But the governor says he flew two plane loads of migrants to Martha's Vineyard because Florida is not a sanctuary state. The governor says he wanted to protect the state from failed border policies. These sanctuary jurisdictions can put their money where their mouth is, they can provide the resources, they can do all of that. And then once that happens, the chance of folks coming to Florida is probably very, very low. DeSantis says it's part of what he calls the state relocation program. But critics say this is a heartless political stunt. I've always loved Florida, but Governor DeSantis has made me ashamed. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. We reached out to the governor's office about the comparison and the calls for a federal investigation. We are still waiting to hear back.